October is on the way with me, Bob Eubanks. Stay tuned. From Hollywood, it's Maternity Day on the Newlywed Game. And here are today's newlyweds. This couple got happily hitched three months ago, Heidi and William Ortega. Our next couple recited their vows 20 months ago, Lisa and Frank Lima. This couple traded rings 11 months ago, Nikki and Eric Dragazet. And our final couple celebrated their union 15 months ago, Felice and Leroy Valentine. And now, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the newlywed game. How nice of you to join us. Hey, it's that day they're all expecting, and so moms and dads to be, if you're ready to play this game, we're going to send our ladies off to the soundproof booth. Stand up carefully and move rapidly. Now remember, gentlemen, around one, I'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. If her answer matches your prediction, you then get five points. And remember, each correct prediction brings you that much closer to that fabulous second honeymoon. So the ladies are gone. And these are the dads to be. Here we go. First question. Gentlemen, since becoming pregnant, will your wife say her body has developed more nooks and crannies, peaks and valleys, or twists and turns? <laughs> Leroy. Uh, Bob, I would say twists and turns. Her body's developed more twists and turns? Yes, because um, she always grouchy. And oh, is she really? Yeah, always, always grouchy. Yeah. How many, how many kids you plan to have? Um, four. 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 Yeah, that's it, four. She's going to be grouchy a long time, man. <laughs> right. I'd say uh, peaks and valleys, Bob. Bobby, Just because uh, starting to... Yeah, peaks and valleys. Starting to okay. get big. <laughs> More. Nooks and crannies, peaks and valleys, or twists and turns? I'm going to say twists and turns, Bob. Twists and turns. Oh, yeah. She turns on me, you don't understand. Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> I understand. I understand. <laughs> Eric. Definitely say peaks and valleys. Peaks Bob. and valleys. Yeah, she's uh, she's blossoming at a at middle age. Yeah. <laughs> Her hair turned red too, didn't it? Yeah. Purple. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. Will your wife say you would rather have a little baby Gouda or a little baby Gherkin? Frank, what would you rather have? I'd have a little baby Gouda. You'd rather have a little Gouda? Yeah. I'll be darn. I've never heard that before. A little William. Little. Gouda. Gouda, Bob. You'd rather have a little baby Gouda too? I think so. Eric, what do you think about this? Definitely Gouda. She loves cheese, so Oh, Gouda's you want a little Gouda. Gouda. Okay. <laughs> Leroy. Oh, we have to say Gouda, too. You want Gouda, too? Yeah. Four Goudas? <laughs> no gherkins. Wow. Gentlemen, if you, think about this now. If your most annoying personal habit, your most annoying personal habit, were actually a secret turn-on for your wife, what will she say she would be begging you to do all the time? In other words, what is your most annoying personal habit, William? Dancing. Dancing as after I come out of the shower, Bob. <laughs> Strip a little bit, take out my towel. You, you dance after you come out of the shower? Yeah, I'm sorry, I do. Oh, no, you don't have to, apolog <laughs> you don't have to apologize to me. It's your wife. I want you to apologize. She to loves you. it. She loves it. Yeah. Eric? I'd have to say I'd have to hang stuff all over the house, because that... That'll... She would beg you to hang stuff all over the house? <laughs> yeah, she would love that. You just she... hang stuff everywhere? Just clothes and whatever I can find. Just, just be annoying. That's annoying as hell. <laughs> Leroy! I would say uh, play the stereo real loud as you, she watching TV. You play the stereo real loud while she's watching Watch, television. Right. Yeah. Frank? It would be to uh, fart the silent but deadly. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the scary part is he's going to have a baby. You see. <laughs> we'll be right back to reunite these newlyweds. We'll see how well our husbands have predicted what their wives will say right after these messages.
What are they talking about? Liza Minnelli for hot dogs. They're talking about Talk About. Weekdays at 8, right here on Buzzer. Let's talk. Don Knotts or Donald Duck. to the newlywed game. Now, gentlemen, we've recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them in front of you. Every time your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show wins a great second honeymoon, after the baby's born anyway. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, all of the ladies are expecting today. Of course, the dads are too. I think that's really great. So if you're ready, ladies, here's your first question. Ladies, since becoming pregnant, would you say your body has developed more twists and turns? Nooks and crannies, or peaks and valleys. Nikki, I like your hair. Thank you. Have you been sleeping with the Easter Bunny? <laughs> Don't tell my husband. I, hello, Mr. Bunny. How are you? Has <laughs> your body uh, developed more twists and turns, nooks and crannies, or peaks and valleys, Nikki? I would say peaks and valleys. Peaks and valleys. Lots of peaks, lots of valleys. He's been doing a lot of peaking, okay? Yeah. A lot of he said the top card, peaks and valleys. You got it, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Heidi. Definitely peaks and valleys. For sure, peaks and valleys. Yeah. yeah he That's said a good your body's thing. developed. That's a good thing. <laughs> That's a good thing, yeah. He said your body, no, he said twist and turns on your body. You always turn on me. What are you talking about? You're always mad. That's true. Lisa. Definitely peaks and valleys. Peaks and valleys. He said your body's developed a whole bunch of peaks and valleys. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Felice, what do you think? I would have to say um, peaks and valleys. Peaks and valleys? Yeah. He said your body has developed a whole bunch of twists and turns. Twists and turns. You're always grouchy. You're always grouchy. You know that. You know that. Well, remember that next time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next question, ladies, would your husband say he would rather have a little baby Gouda or a little baby Gherkin? What do you think he'd rather have, Heidi? A little baby Gouda or a little baby Gherkin? Gouda. Gouda. He said he would love to have a little baby Gouda. See, Bob? Yeah. yeah. She doesn't know what a Gherkin is, Bob. Pardon me? She doesn't know what a Gherkin is, Bob. No, she doesn't. No, well. Boy, you don't want to have a Gherkin if you don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Lisa. A uh, baby gherkin. You'd like to have a little gherkin? Yes. Why is that? He has a friend of the last name gherkin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I, don't know, that's, that's, I don't know what a gherkin is either. That's the only gherkin I know. A gherkin's his friend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Frank said you'd like to have a little baby uh, Gouda. That's what he Gouda. wants. Gouda. Yeah. Uh, Felice, this is a tough question, I know. Now, you don't have any points at this point, but this is your chance to get some points. Okay, since gherkin sounds like girl, I would have to say gherkin. You want to have a little baby gherkin? Yes. Yeah. Please, you still don't have any points. Oh, what? Well, yeah. What did he, he said, say? He wants to have a little gouda. What is a gouda? <laughs> I don't know, but whatever it is, he wants one. <laughs> he said he's never heard of a gouda that was crabby. <laughs> Nikki. I would say a little baby gouda. You want a gouda? Because uh, he likes Gouda cheese. All right. Eric said he would like to have a little baby Gouda. Yeah! All right. Last of our five-point questions. Ladies, think about this now. If your husband's most annoying personal habit were actually a secret turn-on for you, what would you be begging him to do all the time? What would you be begging him to do, Lisa, all the time? He constantly... Farts. No. <laughs> Incessantly. What's the baby going to say? Uh, it's disgusting. He, he does it all the time and he enjoys it. <laughs> Frank said that uh, it's the fact that he passes gas. You got it. All right. <laughs> hey, please. His most annoying little boy habit, if it were secretly a turn on, what would you be begging him to do? I would have to say to rub his feet. He rubs his feet? He rubs his corns and... <laughs> <laughs> well, no wonder you're crabby all the time. Why? The guy's sitting around rubbing his corns. <laughs> <laughs> you're bored, aren't you, Leroy? <laughs> all right, he says that his most annoying habit is that he, he plays the stereo too loud while you're watching television. That's true. Can I hit him now? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nikki. Okay, I would say 
his most annoying personal habit? Personally, I think that when he blows his nose at the table, the dinner table. Oh, no. I think it is very rude, and I think he should get up and go to the Well, I think he should get up and leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> what is that thing on your lip? Spit catcher. Oh, a spit catcher. <laughs> God, why do I ask this question? That's another annoying Yeah, he said, uh, no, it's the way he hangs stuff all over the house. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh. that's right. Heidi, what do you think? He burps. He, he what? burps all the time, well, no you matter know what? what he drinks. After Frank's answer, that's acceptable. We'll, we'll take a burp. He says his most annoying habit, after the shower, he naked dances. <laughs> you call me a pervert. <laughs> I'm all... I like that. She I calls know. you what? That's a good she calls you a pervert. Because I start, you know, that's like, not annoying I, get my towel, I get the towel in between my legs and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do it? <laughs> Dumb. I guess I'm the annoying? only perfect one. You're not even included anymore. We'll be back with the wives and see how well they can predict what their husband will say right after these matches.
I'm Bob Eubanks, and you're watching the Newlywed Game on Buzzer TV. Let's play. Welcome back to the Newlywed Game. It's Maternity Day on our show. The ladies are all expecting, so we have to hurry right through this show. Now, ladies, your husbands are all secluded off stage. It's your turn to predict what they will say. And remember, each of these questions will now be worth 10 points. So here's the first one. Ladies, what will your husband say is more likely to give you a chuckle? The thought of him skydiving naked or the thought of him leaf blowing naked? Which would give you a bigger chuckle here, Lise? Uh, leaf blowing naked. The, the thought of him leaf blowing naked would do it, huh? Right. He does a lot of yard work. Oh, he does. <laughs> The thought of him naked would make you chuckle right now, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Heidi. Uh, leaf blowing. The he thought does of him leaf of... blowing naked. Yeah. yeah they... Well, he couldn't skydive. He's scared of heights. So, <laughs> leaf blowing. Well, we're just pretending. I mean, you know. <laughs> Nikki. I would say leaf blowing also. Really? The just thought of I like him leaf blowing. I like to see him out there sweating and leaf blowing. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I would have to say leaf blowing because he does a lot of lawn work and I would love to see things just blowing around. <laughs> okay, next question, ladies. If your baby, if your baby grew up and became a cross-dressing rock star, <laughs> will your husband say the genes come from your side of the family or his side of the family? Now, Heidi. Your baby's going to grow up and become a cross-dressing rock star. My side of the family. The genes will come from your side of the family. I have some cousins that I won't name, but they dress. Really? <laughs> they dress like pilgrims. Is there? <laughs> Nikki. That would be an easy one. That would be my side of the I family. I always figured it would be your <laughs> side of the family. <laughs> yeah. What color is your hair? Flamingo pink. Flamingo. Well, I hope the baby doesn't have hair that color. Oh, I think it'd be great. Oh, you think it'd be great? Yes. Okay, doke. Please. Um, he would say my side From of the family. From your side of the family. You got the weirdos in your side. The weirdos. Okay. Yeah. Lisa. His side of the family. Pardon me? His, his side of the family. His side, of the, his side of the family. Next question, ladies. How will your husband say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. The last time I tried on a bathing suit, my husband said I looked like a blank. Nikki? <laughs> I would say he said I'd look like a sexy mama. Like a sexy mama. All right. <laughs> Please. My husband said that I look like a top model. A top model? <laughs> Lisa. My husband would probably say I look like a round ball. A round ball. <laughs> yeah. Heidi? He said I look cute, even though I was crying. Look like a... <laughs> look, look like a... How do, you, how do you want to say it? Look like a... Model. A cute model. All right, fine. <laughs> For 25 points, ladies, on an average, how many times a day will your husband say he kisses you? On an average, how many times, Felice? I would have to say twice. Twice. Lisa? Five times. Five. Heidi? Five. Five. Nikki? I would say four. Four. Ladies, thank you very much. Now we'll be back with the husband. <laughs> with the bear hands, we'll do it again. And after these messages.
to the newlywed game. All of our couples have scored points except Leroy down there. Leroy, what's the problem, big guy? Hey, lots of time to, to catch up, though, because, gentlemen, we're going to see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. And remember, these questions will now be worth 10 points. And in case you just now tuned in, I want to let you know all the ladies are expecting. So we have a lot of people on our show today. So if you're ready, gentlemen, what would you say is more likely to give your wife a chuckle? Would it be the thought of you skydiving naked or the thought of you leaf blowing naked? Which one would give her the biggest chuckle, William? I'm going to have to say leaf blowing naked, Bob. Leaf blowing naked, Bob. Leaf blowing naked. I mean, <laughs> leaf, leaf blowing naked. I've never been called that before. All right. There you leaf go. Blowing leaf blowing naked, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> leaf blowing naked. No. That would be it. Naked. <laughs> what do you mean to say now? Leaf blowing naked. Yeah. Say it three times real fast. Leaf blowing naked, leaf blowing naked, leaf blowing naked. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't think you could do it. Heidi predicted you would say leaf blowing naked. Yeah. 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 I'm a freak. Frank, considering what your worst personal habit is, I'm dreading all of these. <laughs> I'd say uh, leaf blowing naked, since I'm always doing yard work. She's always laughing at me. Leaf blowing saying, naked. All right, Lisa predicted you would say it would be leaf blowing naked. Yeah. <laughs> well, Leroy, what do you think about this now? The thought, what, which one would give her the biggest chuckle? Would it be the thought of you skydiving naked or leaf blowing naked? I would have to say leaf blowing naked. Really? Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried it? No, I haven't tried, but I was... Would you try it? I would. I would. <laughs> <laughs> she said the thought of you leaf blowing naked. Yes, I okay. <laughs> Boy, it just makes me chuckle thinking about it. <laughs> yes, what do you think about this, Eric? I think uh, leaf blowing naked definitely just power tools and sweating and just dangling in the wind. <laughs> You're a real strange fellow, Eric. <laughs> Nikki predicted you would say it would be leaf blowing naked. You got it. Okay. Next question, guys. Gentlemen, if your baby grew up and became a cross dressing rock star, would you say the genes came from your side of the family or from your wife's side of the family? Frank, what do you think about this one? Uh, definitely her side of the family. How just, come? Uh, just because they're a little. A little shaky at times. You, no. <laughs> you mean they're a little well, more shaky little shaky than you too, are? But, uh... Oh, God. All right, she said that Gene would come, no, from your side of the family, Frank. What? There's a lot yeah. more wackos in your side than my, my side. side. Of the family. You're the guy who walks around with a leaf blower with nothing on. <laughs> yeah. Leroy, which side of the family? Well, I would just say my side of the family. So okay, she know. predicted the genes would come from her side of the family, Leroy. Why you, say, why you say that? Because I have more crazy people on my side of the family than you do. <laughs> That's what do you true. think, Eric? Um, I yeah. have to say her side of the yeah, family. Yeah, I was going to answer it for you. <laughs> yeah. right, she predicted it would be her side of the family. Yeah. <laughs> well, William, what do you think about this? I'm going to say her side of the family. Her side of the family. She predicted you would say come from her side yeah. of the family. Yeah. Yeah. This is the last of our 10-point questions. Gentlemen, how would your wife complete this sentence? This is her talking. The last time I tried on a bathing suit, my husband said I looked like a blank. Leroy! Power Ranger? Oh. Like a Power Ranger. <laughs> He's been watching a lot of television. <laughs> yeah. Felice said you said she looked like a top model. Oh. Boy, that's so close. <laughs> Judges, what do you say? Uh, <laughs> I was only kidding, Judge. <laughs> All right, what do you think about this, Eric? Last time she bought on a bathing suit, you said she looked like a... I'd have to say a, a dolphin. Just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Just the way she moves in the water. There's, There's nothing about her that looks like <laughs> Flipper. What the heck are you talking about? Nikki said, you said she looked like a sexy mama. Well, William, what do you think about this? Smurf. Smurf? Smurf. <laughs> a cute. A cute Smurf, yes, of course. She's, she said that you said she looked like a cute model. I always call you Smurf. You were in blue. You're small. <laughs> She was small and blue. I said small and blue, of course. <laughs> I always call you smart. Lisa. Uh, excuse me, Frank. Uh, like a stripper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she looked like a stripper? No, she said she put on a bathing suit. You said she looked like a round ball. He's always so All right, before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Take a look. 
You're going to the Bahamas! Bahamas Princess Resort and Casino on exciting Grand Bahama Island. Offering golf, tennis, swimming, a dazzling casino, and international entertainment. From Bahamas Princess Resort and Casino, have a wonderful second honeymoon. Back to you, Bob. Thank you, Kramer, very much. All right. Hey, this is going to be fun because all of our couples are expecting we're going to send you on a fabulous second honeymoon. Here's our 25-point bonus question. Gentlemen, on an average, how many times a day would you say you kiss your wife? Let's go first to couple number three. Leroy and Felice, you have 10, 25, I'll give you 35. Get it right, you're in first place. Leroy? I would say maybe four times. Four times. She said on an average you kiss her two times a day. Couple number three, Frank and Lisa with 20, 25, I'll give you 45. Get it right, you're in first place. Frank, what do you say? Five times. Five times. She said uh, five times. <laughs> yeah. Couple number two, William and Heidi with 25. 25 gives you 50. Get it right, and you're going to be in first place. What do you think, William? Five times. Bob. Five times. Five times will work. <laughs> okay. All right, couple number one, Eric and Nikki with 30, 25. We give you 55. Get it right. You're going on a fabulous second honeymoon. What's your answer, Eric? Five times. Five times. He said four times. Couple number two, William and Heidi. <laughs> You're our newlywed game grand prize winner. Well, best of luck to all four of our couples and your expected baby. Congratulations to you. Thanks to all of you at home. I'm Bob Eubanks. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bob again. There's a